Hello, and welcome back to our Frequently Asked Questions series. Multi-wall polycarbonate sheets are used in a wide variety of structures, like canopies, sunrooms, greenhouses, and more. High impact strength, outstanding durability, excellent thermal insulation properties, and ease of installation make multi-wall polycarbonate sheets a great choice for a glazing material. However, if this is your first time working with multi-wall polycarbonate, you might be wondering, what's the best way to install my sheets? So today, we're going to share with you some useful tips on how to drill and install multi-wall polycarbonate sheets that will hopefully help make the installation of your sheets go a little smoother. Even though installing multi-wall polycarbonate sheets is a rather safe process, we recommend reading the safety guidelines and wearing safety glasses and gloves. And prior to the installation of your panels, make sure that the sheet's UV protective coating is facing out or towards the sun. There's usually a sticker or a masking film on the sheet that lets you know which side of the sheet is UV protected. And during the installation of your sheets, make sure not to scratch the surface of the sheet because this could potentially damage that UV protective layer. And don't forget to seal off the top and bottom ends of your multi-wall sheet with either an aluminum tape or a U-channel. This will help keep dirt, dust, and debris out of the flutes of your multi-wall sheet. A key component to most building projects, choosing the right fastener is very important. The right fasteners will ensure high product performance and prevent future problems. When the wrong fasteners are used, both the fastener and the sheet can fail over time. Amerilux recommends using a number 12 woodmate screw for wooden structures and a number 12 self-drilling, self-tapping screw for metal structures such as steel or aluminum. The amount of fasteners needed will depend on your loading requirements. Always check with local building codes before starting any project. Make sure to choose high quality fasteners that are corrosion resistant, especially if you're building an outdoor project. And for proper point fastening, make sure all fasteners are fitted with an EDPM or neoprene bonded washer. That's because washers help create a tight seal against your multi-wall polycarbonate sheet, keeping unwanted wind and water from getting in from the outside. Multi-wall polycarbonate sheets naturally expand and contract with seasonal temperature change. Any resistance can cause sheet distortion. Make sure to pre-drill holes before installing your sheets. Do not pre-drill your fastener holes within an inch and a half from the edge of your multi-wall polycarbonate sheet. We recommend drilling fastener holes at least 1 16th of an inch larger than the fasteners you are using. Please do not skip this step. Allow for the proper expansion and contraction of your polycarbonate sheets. Otherwise, there will not be enough space for thermal movement and there's a good chance your sheets will probably crack or buckle around the fastener holes. You can pre-drill your holes using a power drill with the correct drill bit. Make sure to securely support your sheet while drilling to help reduce vibration. So to begin creating your fastener holes, position your drill perpendicular to the sheet. Exercise a little patience here and drill at a low, steady speed. You don't need to use a lot of hard pressure here. Allow the drill to do the work. If need be, clean out any of that debris around your drill bit or your fastener hole. This will prevent overheating and potentially damaging your fastener hole. Those fastener holes look pretty good. Let's move on to getting the sheet fastened down the rest of the way. Fastener pattern and frequency are dependent upon your loading requirements. If you have any concerns, make sure to double check with your local building authority. For most applications, you're going to want your fasteners to penetrate your structure by at least one inch. And depending on the structural material being used, you might even want to use a larger washer. That is because washers help distribute load across a wider area, thereby 
helping to protect the surface of your sheet from being damaged. When fastening, it's important to make sure the fastener is perpendicular with the sheet. This will help create a weather-tight seal. Now, if you're building a hobby greenhouse in your backyard or putting a polycarbonate roof up over your patio or deck, probably the easiest and most efficient way to fasten your polycarbonate sheets down would be by using a power tool like this drill. But if you're working on a smaller project like we are here, this portable cold frame, then using a hand tool like this nut driver will work just fine for fastening your sheet into place. The two most important things to remember, no matter which tool you decide to use, is to fasten your screws in perpendicular to the sheet and to not over tighten them. You are only going to want to tighten your screws enough so the sheets do not rattle in the wind. Over tightening screws will cause your polycarbonate sheet to dimple and put undue stress around your fastener holes. A properly installed fastener will sit flush against the surface of your sheet with no distortion to the washer. When you're done fastening, it's important to double check that your fasteners are properly secure. A properly secured sheet will last for many years to come without any damage. Looks good. These last couple, just double check. All fastened. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Why can't I do this? Okay. Make sure your sheets. UV protected coating faces outside or outwards or towards the sun. <laughs> <laughs> First, even though. <laughs> okay, one more time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotta get that out of our system.